Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and in this video I'm going to answer the question, what are drones used for? This is a new version of the video that I created in January 2017. This new version contains additional uses suggested by you, my loyal viewers and subscribers. The original version generated a lot of views, likes and comments. If you posted a suggestion on this video, then I have included your idea in this updated list and mentioned you as the source. Thank you to everyone who submitted a suggestion under the 2017 video. Your support is much appreciated. It seems barely a week goes by without new uses for drones being imagined and realised. So here is my list. If you can think of any I've missed, then please add a comment under this video. Number 1. Aerial Photography If there's one thing most people consider when they think of uses for drones, it is aerial photography. It's a huge field with lots of spin-offs and niche areas. It's the basis of the whole civil UAV industry and the entry point for most, if not all, drone pilots. Drone aerial photography and filming is an industry and a service in itself. Number 2. Film and TV footage Film and TV companies were very quick to take advantage of the burgeoning drone technology. They tend to have larger budgets for new equipment and the latest gadgets. The footage and shots achievable from hexacopters and octocopters carrying broadcast grade cameras have proved they justify the investment. Number 3. Aerial Mapping There was a time when Google Earth and Maps was the state of the art, but there is so much more to do with mapping the planet's surface. Drones designed and equipped for mapping and programmed to fly in grid patterns are slowly building up a very detailed picture of our home planet. Number 4. Archaeological Digs and Research It's long been known that aerial photos can reveal clues about the history hidden in the landscape. Some sites are only fully appreciated from the air. You only have to think of the Nazca Plains in Peru. One of the many uses for drones is in the field of archaeological research. Time, weather and budget can prohibit the use of manned aircraft at a site, but a quick scan of the area from 300 feet using a small drone can be like switching on a light. Suddenly all is revealed and made clear. Number 5. Filming Marine Wildlife No doubt you've seen in the press or on social media those spectacular shots of pods of whales or a mother and a calf shot from a few hundred feet. It has given us a view that was denied to most of us a few years ago. Apart from the spectacle, there are all kinds of research advantages enabled by the use of drones at sea. Drones can be launched from the shore, but the real benefits are out on the open ocean. Number 6. Filming Land Wildlife The Earth's wildlife provides an endless source of joy and wonder. In order to observe it at close quarters without causing any disturbance, film and TV companies have devised all kinds of cams – rock cam, dung cam, log cam, etc. They all work well up to a point, but there is no substitute for aerial shots and the bird's eye view. Number 7. Anti-poaching Drones are now being used in the fight against poachers, and it is a fight for these men are armed and dangerous. A drone that can pick up tracks or even follow suspects is the ideal tool for the job. It's quieter and cheaper than a helicopter, and being unmanned there is no risk of anyone being shot by poachers alerted to its presence. Number 8. Environmental and Meteorological Monitoring High and medium altitude drones that fly autonomously for days on end are circling the Earth and gathering data on the weather and the environment. Number 9. Police Work A DJI Phantom or Inspire in the back of a patrol car can be quickly sent up to film or photograph the scene of a car accident. The savings in time spent on site by the officers could be significant. Not to mention the delays and frustrations caused to motorists while the road or lane is closed. Number 10. Search and Rescue The ability of drones to see from viewpoints denied to crew on foot makes them ideal allies during search and rescue missions. When people are lost, injured or in distress, it is not always possible to send in an SAR helicopter. The location and the weather may rule out any manned aerial vehicle. 
Rescuers arriving on the scene can use unmanned aviation to assess the situation and to direct rescuers on foot. Number 11. Property Photography This is one of the aerial photography niche areas mentioned earlier. Estate agents have been quick to take up drone filming in order to help promote and sell property. The ability to display particularly large properties with acres of garden or pasture has tempted buyers to make the journey and to close sales. Number 12. Domestic Roof Inspections Storm damage, debris, blocked gutters, leaks in the upstairs rooms – all these are a source of worry to householders and landlords. Ladders are risky and scaffolding costs can rapidly escalate. Far better to send up a drone to inspect the roof. The video footage can be kept for review or forwarded on to other contractors. With one clever device you've eliminated the risk of ladders and avoided the costs of scaffolding. Number 13. Industrial Roof Inspections If you can do this for homes, you can also do it for factories and industrial units. It's all a matter of scale. With large industrial complexes, there are huge benefits in terms of cost savings and the lessening of risks to humans through physical inspection of hard-to-reach areas. Number 14. Planning Inspections Local government inspectors are always keen to find new ways to improve efficiency and making their funds go further. Well, that's the theory at least. Drones can be used to check that new buildings, extensions and other work is in compliance with local planning laws. Number 15. Solar Park Inspections There has been a boom in the building of solar parks in the countryside in the past few years. They have appeared in all kinds of places, on farmland and abandoned airfields. They cover large areas with thousands of panels. To inspect them all on foot for damaged or inoperative PV cells is a labour-intensive task, so one of the uses for drones is to scan them row by row. With the correct type of camera, it is possible to identify any malfunctioning cell. Number 16. Environmental Compliance Inspections how can you tell if the farm, factory or industrial area is compliant with local environmental laws and rulings? Inspections on foot are one option, but the bird's eye view of a UAV will capture the conclusive evidence and exonerate those who might be under suspicion for non-compliance. Number 17. Drone Deliveries Most people have heard of this one. Amazon's tests are a matter of public record. However, there is still some way to go before we have beer and pizza arriving by drone. Number 18. Disaster Relief In areas devastated by wars and natural disasters, it becomes essential to know what roads are open and what bridges are intact. Disaster relief agencies and military personnel can use drones to quickly gather information, while the expensive and less numerous helicopters and land vehicles load up with supplies. Number 19. Emergency Medical Supplies In poorer countries where roads are dust in the summer and impassable mud in the rainy season, people die for want of basic medicines. Drones can be used to deliver small payloads of medicines to remote villages. Number 20. News Filming The news helicopters will continue to fly for years to come, but there are many instances where a drone is the better tool for the job. Consider outside broadcast units at an event or situation that would benefit from an aerial shot, but where the presence of a helicopter would be disruptive or dangerous. Number 21. Sports Filming With the arrival on the market of drones that follow an individual, it's now possible to obtain footage of, for example, skiers, cyclists, skateboarders, surfers, and all kinds of sports in ways that were impossible before the developments in UAS technology. Number 22. Pipeline and Power Line Inspection UAV can be designed and modified to carry out any task that is dull, dirty or dangerous. Pipeline and Power Line Inspection fall into at least one of those categories. It's a lot more cost effective to conduct a preliminary inspection remotely before sending out the crew by helicopter or by land transport. Number 23. Tunnel Inspection 
Did you see the footage of the crossrail tunnels on the news just after they had completed the main section underneath London? They sent a drone through them to show what they had achieved. The tunnels are very large, so flying a drone within them is not difficult, but UAV could also be used to inspect smaller tunnels. Number 24. Precision Agriculture with Fixed Wing UAV Agriculture is one of the biggest growth areas for fixed wing drones. Farmers have found all kinds of uses for them and have been quick to employ these robotic friends to help improve yields and for more effective pest and disease control. UAV can pinpoint breakouts of pests and disease within a specific area. The treatment can then be applied directly onto that area alone instead of the entire field. This enables a huge saving on the cost of treatment as there is far less wasted spraying. It's a sort of agricultural surgical strike. Number 25. Advertising and promotional videos. There are countless ways in which drone video services can be used to help satisfy the never-ending demand for more advertising and promotional videos. Whether you're filming an ad for a new car or creating a music video, drones are part of your marketing toolbox. Number 26. Weddings, parties and events. Wedding photographers were among the first to capitalize on the potential offered by the new aerial cameras. They offer an edge that can win new business within a competitive market. Anyone planning a wedding wants to be certain that the event is filmed and photographed in as much detail as possible, so that they can relive the experience and pass on the memories. Number 27. Drone Racing and VR This is an area that is generating a lot of interest. Obviously it appeals more to the younger adults and teenagers, but like all games of this type, anyone of any age can play. Combining drone racing with VR makes it accessible to all, regardless of age or ability. Number 28. Making art with drones Artists are often quick to spot the potential of new technology as a tool that will enable new ways of expression. A swarm of drones, each with one light or several, flying in formation or moving like a murmuration of starlings can produce dramatic and eerie effects. Number 29. Aircraft Inspection You've got an Airbus A380 in the corner of the airport and you need to inspect it from nose to tail. What better way than to fly an aerial camera along its length? Number 30. Internet Access There are many who yearn to join our connected world and to add their devices to the Internet of Things. High-flying UAV can extend the Internet to remote areas where the land-based infrastructure is basic and incomplete. Number 31. Exercising Dogs How about flying a drone at 15 feet in the air up and down your garden and have your dogs chase it? Thanks to Puck Light for that one. Number 32. Mapping Wildfires and Inspecting Damage Wildfires are a frequent problem after dry spells and in hot countries. Drones can be used to gather data by mapping the extent of the fire. Murray Capel suggested this idea, and Ken Campanolo pointed out in detail how UAV can be used to pinpoint hotspots and determine the extent of the damage after a bushfire has passed through. Number 33. Finding Lost Pets Nth degree aerial perspective suggested using drones to find lost pets and livestock and also mentioned using drones for relaxation, providing a perspective otherwise denied. Number 34. Project Progress Charles Dickens pointed out that drones can be used to film the progress of construction projects by taking stills and video at various stages in the project. Number 35. Security Patrols J. Moore and Cell Block 76 both described how drones can be used to conduct security patrols along the perimeter of any sensitive area, like a hospital, or a temporary encampment, like an outdoor festival. Number 36. Marine Lifesaver Launched from a boat or from the shore, a drone can drop a life jacket or life buoy to anyone in distress in the sea. Such multicopters have been demonstrated on many occasions. P.R. Matthews reminded us of this fact. Number 37. Clifftop and other rescues. Continuing the rescue theme, 
Joseph Dunphy pointed out that drones can be used to assess and report on ongoing rescue efforts where ropes and cliffs are concerned. Number 38. Drone Tourism Blue 280485 suggested using drones to fly around historic landmarks while tourists wear a VR FPV headset, thus creating a virtual but real-time tour of the outside of places like the Statue of Liberty. Number 39. Wind Turbine Inspection The proliferation of wind turbines has resulted in a proportional increase in the need for inspections of the exterior of these structures. As Ryan Harp pointed out, drones can be used to inspect both wind turbines and mobile phone masts. Number 40. High Speed Pursuits Park EL realized that drones are ideal for high speed pursuits keeping a fix on fleeing suspects when police officers are slowed down by obstacles. Number 41. Blowing Leaves The downdraft from drones could be used to clear leaves from paths and other paved areas. Thanks to David Rayborn for that one. Number 42. Military Surveillance Drones Lastly, there is warfare. It's a controversial topic that generates heated debate but whatever the legal and moral implications, there are distinct benefits from using armed and unarmed UAV on the battlefield. There are micro drones that can fly around a corner, over a wall and into a building. There are fixed wing and rotary drones that can be quickly launched on the battlefield to provide intelligence on enemy movements and positions. Number 43, military attack drones. Then there are the more well-known armed drones that can launch missiles at targets from so far away that the unfortunate victims are probably unaware of their impending doom. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Please give the video a thumbs up, share it and add a comment below. Did I miss any uses for drones?